Uh, just for uh, everyone else, can you quickly run down uh, how BISC works um, at the very basic level um, so that we're all on the same page here and, and, and how we could recommend it to our users and, and what the best way to, to use BISC is? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I guess I don't want to take too much. I'll maybe just take a minute or two to talk about the basics. It's, it's just uh, BISC is software, peer-to-peer -peer software that you download to your computer. Um, and when you run it, you, you, you're connected to the BISC peer-to-peer -peer network, which runs on top of Tor. Um, so you, you know, no accounts, no, uh, um, no uh, you know, information that you have to give about yourself uh, in order to use it. Uh, of course, because it's over Tor, you don't really, people don't know where you are either. Um, and um, you essentially just make offers or take offers for Bitcoin that you want to buy or sell. Um, so there's no order matching. Um, the BISC software is, like I said, peer to peer. And so offers are hosted on people's own machines wherever they run BISC. Um, so you'll post an offer to buy or sell Bitcoin. You can buy or sell Bitcoin for fiat currencies or altcoins. Um, BISC was originally created for, for fiat currencies. And so that's kind of what we default to when explaining it. Um, essentially, you, you post an offer or take an offer to buy Bitcoin uh, or sell Bitcoin using a, a payment account uh, that's for fiat, usually a bank account or a money order or some other means of sending money. When you finalize the trade, you put in a Bitcoin deposit, usually 0.01 Bitcoin or some percentage of the, uh, of the trade amount uh, in a multi-sig wallet. Uh, the seller or other counterparty will do the same thing. Um, when that when that uh, transaction is confirmed, the buyer will send the money to the seller off of BISC. So BISC has no idea what's happening in the legacy banking system. Um, the traders have to manually acknowledge that they are either sending money or that they have received money from their counterparty. So the buyer will send the money, let's say, for example, through a bank transfer. They'll, they'll make the transfer at their bank and then they'll confirm in BISC that, yes, I have sent the money. The seller will then, once they receive the money, acknowledge that, yes, I have received the, the payment in BISC. Um, to, uh, once, it, once BISC uh, receives the confirmation from the buyer and from the seller, two of the three keys uh, will, well, the multi-sig uh, wallet will be Conditions will be satisfied and the Bitcoin will be released to the respective parties and the deal is, is done. Um, so that's at a high level how it works. Peer-to-peer -peer software, nothing to do with the make banking system, although money is sent and received through it. And um, yeah, no accounts, private, anonymous. Um, Great. Yeah. So um, so just, just, to, just to quickly reiterate here, so the way that that BISC works is that it's a decentralized system where people essentially are able uh, to interact with each other um, through essentially two or three multi-sigs, right? Um, right? And it, it's, it's a system very similar to purse.io, although I believe that purse does not use two or three multi-sigs. Um, and it, uh, yeah, it, purse does not at all. Um, and it's exactly or, or quite similar to the way a dark hand market would, would facilitate a trade with two or three multi six, right? So uh, let me just quickly ask who currently owns, uh, who is the moderator, the mediator for uh, like a failed or, or um, unclear transaction? At this point, at this point in time, we have uh, arbitrators uh, that have that are anonymous. They've been with the project for a very long time. They have a reputation uh, person on a personal basis with the the founders. Uh, they will arbitrate uh, issues in, in any deals that I mean, the arbitration deals. The number of deals that go to arbitration are I think in the low single digits in percentage terms. So it's not very common. But when an issue does happen, then. Um, Arbitrators will will you know step in and, and look at the evidence and make a judgment one way or another to solve it. Gotcha. And and, and 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 let's just add one last thing and then we'll have to switch topics. Um, the most sure. common uh, uh, fiat payment. What would you what would you say or the the top two most common ways that people are doing payments on BISC? Uh, it really it really varies by by ge ge uh, geography. So in uh, in the U.S. it's probably Zelle. In the European Union, it's probably SEPA, but I don't know exactly 
I'm not sure exactly what it is there, but um, yeah, it varies. Okay. Well, anyways, thank you very much for, for letting us know. Uh, we're going to continue to recommend BISC to, to users. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for, for being here.